Hey guys, welcome back for some more Pokemon Shield. Hopefully today, we'll find a new Pokemon and maybe get ourselves out of this forest. Holy crap. It's a Morgrim. I already have one of you, so I don't really need you. Did he just frisk my... You dick. I think it was 38. Maybe I should have been leveling this team off screen. <laughs> Oh. Luminous Moss. It boosts special defense if the holder is hit with a water type attack. It can only be used once. Huh. Interesting. And U turn. I wanna. God, is this all I <laughs> can only find these Pokemon? Let me just set this thing on fire and maybe they'll never come back again. Bird. Oh my god, it survived. No, don't, please. This is a great way to start an episode, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> god damn it. Uh, every friggin' time. <laughs> Strength tap? Let me guess. Attack stat going down? Yup. And you get your health back. I, that's a really good move. What the hell? You can wake up now, please. Giga Drain. That shouldn't do much. It did enough. Uh, huh, 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 huh. you can wake up, please. He has nothing but healing moves, doesn't he? Oh my god. You know what? <laughs> I've had enough of this Pokemon, just leave me alone. Oh god. Oh, it's another one of you. Where's all the pony toss? And whatever else could be in here. The one thing I was worried about when I was doing a lot of random stuff off screen was the off chance that I would get a shiny and I wouldn't be able to record it and that would have really sucked. Alright, we're going to try for one more Pokemon, and then we're going to move on. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Go away. Alright. Let's see what's up here. Well, this place looks cool. Did we make it to town already? Holy crap, that was fast, and this place looks amazing. I think I saw a Chinchow. <laughs> I was expecting some, like, grand, like, long forest that would have taken me forever to get through. That was really quick. Hmm. Let's put you up there just in case anything happens. I've been looking for a moral. I guess I'm gonna have to take my whatever you call that mushroom Pokemon. <laughs> Is it Shina? Shinotic? Shin Adam? I'm not even gonna try. <laughs> I haven't seen it in the anime, so I'm gonna have to watch the anime or something and see if there was an episode with it and see what they called it in that. Hello. Quite unexpectedly, this place is a bit hard to describe. Okay. Awesome. Right, that's my granddad's name. I'm a Pokemon, have a battle with me. 
Scorbunny and Sizzlepeed are different species, but they're still both Pokemon. Scorbunny and I are different species, just like Sizzlepeed and I are different too. If you think about it that way, there's no problem with calling me a Pokemon. I don't mind. You don't have to worry about me. Even I know it's pretty lofty logic. I, I wanted to become a Pokemon once. Hey, I've got it. A change of fashion style could change the way I feel too. Basically, if I can make myself feel the way a Pokemon does, it'd be like I became a Pokemon, don't you think? You, would you please put on some clothes with a fiery spirit that embodies my burning feelings? Yeah, maybe some other time, dude. That'd be me. What's this? You've got a letter addressed to me? Oh. Well, I didn't try to get to this dude, but here you go. Now, who could be sending me letters? Oh, why, this says it's from Paula. That does take me back ages. Paula was the name of a girl I spent all my time playing with when I was a young lad. She fell ill. Didn't tell me, though. She kept it a secret just how sick she was. We ended up having a great row about it. Then I moved away not long after that fight. I never met her again until after the day I left. How was she? Did she look well, dear old Paula? That's a comfort to hear. I reckon I ought to give you something for this gift you've brought. So she was a ghost. Cool. I got a letter from a ghost. For you brought me back a piece of my youth. Choice scarf. Cool. Boost speed, but only use once. Or you. Oh. Hey, don't interrupt our conversation. Uh, okay. Weird. Oh, it was a Chin Chow. So are we going like straight to the gym now? Cause... I... Hmm... Fairy types. Frickin' fairy types. Maybe this team would be okay? I don't want to bring any, like, you would have been good. But I can't very well train you right now. Hmm. Oh, I missed that item. <laughs> Let's go back to the forest real quick. Because we're like eight minutes in. If I, if I went to the gym right now, then... This would probably be like a 30 minute episode and I don't, I don't know if anybody's super down for that. <laughs> Cause I, I have had a few of those. I might get lucky and see something that I haven't seen yet. Oh. Or we just keep getting these bloody Pokemon over again. And I want to get you up to 38 so you evolve. So we'll do that this episode. And then the next episode we'll go to the gym. Are you kidding me? You survived that? How much are you going to get back? Damn. That's a good move. X4, no! <laughs> oh, this Pokemon. Stop it. Stop healing. <laughs> this thing's so annoying to train against. Please get a critical hit, please. No. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to be able to take this thing out, because he's just going to keep lowering my attack. He's just going to slowly whittle me down with poison. Oh, 
Oh, come on. <laughs> so close. Well, at least he didn't heal this time. Is this a phys oh, okay, it is a physical move. Nevermore. If I was Nevermore, I would be so pissed with that battle. Oh, God. That did not go his way. There we go. You guys get to see an evolution this episode. Nice. We finally have Corviknight. God, this thing's so badass. I love the shiny of it, too. I don't know which I like more, this one or the shiny of it. I think I like this one more than the shiny, but they're both badass. This is probably one of the better Pokemon of this generation. With their great intellect and flying skills, these Pokemon very successfully act as the Galar Region's airborne taxi service. So it's kind of like the region's mascot. Hey! Steelwing. Hmm. Should I keep Pluck? Because I never hold on to a berry. Or should I get rid of Fury Attack? Eh, let's get rid of Fury Attack. I hope that doesn't come back to bite me. But Steelwing is going to help me in the gym. Because Steel is good against uh, Fairy types. Which I can only imagine is what the gym leader is using. Because, I mean, my god, look at this area. <laughs> If she uses anything other than fairies, I would be shocked. Oh. I missed all kinds of stuff. Wonder if there's anything else I missed. Good lord. Oh, you're so cool. <laughs> See if I can knock it out with one drill pick. Holy crap. That's more like it. He evolved so he wouldn't have to put up with that crap anymore. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's get rid of Stomp. Copper has such, like, heavy-hitting moves. I think he's going to be pretty good for this gym as well. I really need to get rid of your poison, dude. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. Like BP oil. With a sigh. <laughs> Drill. Dude, even being 30, level 36, it still got knocked out. Toxel's about to evolve as well, so we'll get to see that evolution this episode. I just gotta heal up real quick. Um, Choice Scarf, Luna. There you go. No more poison. Now, if you hear anything in the background in these couple episodes, hey, that's new. Uh, family is still kind of sick, so they might appear uh, out in the area that I'm recording. So if you do hear a cough or anything, that's that's just them. It can't be helped. You know, people get sick. It happens. Uh, I think st I don't want to knock it out because it took me forever to find this thing. Holy crap, that was close. I think I have to trade this to evolve it, too. This is going on the list of Pokemon needed to be traded. I have so many Pokeballs. <laughs> oh my god. Are you joking? No, 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 no. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Oh, okay, next time I see it, don't hit it. It's gonna kill itself if you do. <laughs> God damn. Oh. Okay, we're gonna make up for it. 
found ourselves a Ponyta. Hmm. Oh yeah, this thing's a Psychic type. I was, I was wondering why Steel Wing wasn't super effective for a second there. Oh, please don't die. Oh. That shouldn't do much. Yeah. Alright. Let's see if you go in the ball. At least we get one Pokemon this episode. Nah. Don't be one of these, please. Well, while we're trying to catch Ponyta, I would like to thank all of you guys for watching today. If you guys enjoyed this episode, leave a like, comment, share, and subscribe. Yeah, we got it. We got ourselves a Ponyta. Oh, and we got an evolution. We're doing a bunch of stuff today. Let's see. Now, I think Toxel turns into one of two different looks depending on what its nature is, and I can't remember what nature this one is. I have three Toxels in my box. Oh, okay, so it's the yellow one. Cool. We might use that for the gym, actually, because of the poison typing. So I might train him off screen. This short-tempered and aggressive Pokemon chugs stagnant water to absorb any toxins it might contain. Spark. Cool. That could be handy. I'll get rid of Growl. Can you learn a good poison move real quick? No? no I didn't think so. The unique horn Pokemon. This Pokemon will look into your eyes and read the contents of your heart. If it finds evil there, it promptly hides away. Oh. So we could pretty much figure out who's evil and who's not just by sticking a, a Galarian Ponyta in front of them. <laughs> that could come in handy. Uh, If you guys got a nickname, you know what to do. I might actually use that. I'm not quite sure just yet. But, uh, that is actually going to do it for today's episode. If you guys like this episode, uh, hit, a, hit that like button. Oh! Comment, share, and subscribe. And, uh, hey, is this... Okay, so, with this Pokemon, there's a little thing. Uh, it's... It's either a forgery or it's the real thing, and the only way to tell is by seeing from underneath its cup. There, there'll be a logo if it's the actual real thing, but it's a rare drop for it to actually come out that way. And I'm not getting the angle. Hmm, maybe we just try to fight it. Hmm. Hope Steelwing won't knock this out. Sucker Punch. Imagine if I got the real one right off the bat. Weak armor. And of course it has a crappy ability. Eh, well, I'll just catch it. But anyway, once I catch this thing, that's gonna be it for the episode. Hey! He's helping with my timing. Awesome. Maybe I'll try to catch a bunch of those off screen and see if I can get a legit one. Can't see under it. <laughs> uh, the, the teacup in which this Pokemon makes its home is a famous piece of antique tableware. Many forgeries are in circulation. There you go. So yeah, the only way you can tell is there's like a little, little icon uh, under its cup and that will let you know. Plus, uh, you have to give it an item in order to evolve it. And if you give it, obviously, the forgeries item, then, you know, obviously you have the forgery one. But there's another item that evolves the actual legit one. So that's another good way of being able to tell. Uh, you know you know what to do if you want to nickname this. Anyway, guys, I'll see you all next time. Take care. Bye-bye.